Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about signal parameters. Last time we talked about the hardware, the cables and so on. This time we're going to talk about the signal parameters. So what signals might be on these cables. Basically I can tell you there are two types. There are always two types of signals. One way to distinguish between two signals is uh, analog signal and digital signal. We will see what the difference is. Yeah. Analog signal, one signal parameter has the, holds the value, the information. Digital value, there are digits. Yeah. And then there are signals which might be time continuous and which might be time discrete. Time continuous means at every point in time Regardless of what I choose, I know the value of the signal. Okay? I know the information. Time discrete things means I have to wait until a certain time and exactly at this certain time the value, I have the value. Yeah? Then there is a window where I also have, where I again have to wait. Yeah? At this window I don't know what is the value. At the end of the window, I will again know. So only at discrete points in time, I will get this information. This has nothing to do with analog or digital. Well, digital signals are usually time discrete. Yeah? They are time discrete, always. But analog values does not mean they are time continuous. I show you what I mean. So, analog signals. There are different types of analog signals. Yeah? One very easy way of analog signal, easy type, is the amplitude. Analog signal. This means if this is the signal on the cable, signal strength, maybe voltage, maybe current, yeah, then this holds the information, yeah, the value of the signal. Yeah, this is the time here yeah, and this is the signal. X, I call it X. Yeah. These types of signals, they are very simple. Because I can measure. I can measure at any time. It doesn't matter if I measure here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. So it's time a continuous. Yeah? It's analog because a signal parameter is changing its value analog to the information. Okay. Analog signal. Yeah? Amplitude analog. Right here. Then we have the time, time analog. So there's also, and I will use a different color maybe, X from T. And here it jumps to a certain value, stays there, goes down. Jumps to a certain value, stays there, goes down. Yeah? And the information content is here in the length of the pulse. Yeah? So this is a slightly bigger value than this one. Okay? So this is time analog. Okay? Time analog. Here, at this point in time, here, I don't know the value because I have to wait until the impulse is finished. I have to wait how long it takes. Then I know the value. Yeah? This is time discrete. Yeah? Still analog, 
because a signal parameter is changing its value analog to the information. And then there is T, and other possibility. This time, x from t looks like this. It's swinging. Either slower, or at another point in time, maybe faster. What is analog to the signal is here the frequency. The higher the frequency, the more the, the higher the value. Okay, this is frequency analog. When we're talking about measurement system, we will go into this in detail. Uh, these are analog signals. Uh, also here, I have to wait until at least one wave has passed, then I know the value. Before, I don't know the frequency. Uh, so also time discrete, analog signal, digital signals, digital signals do consist of values, digits, usually binary, so just two values, zero and one. Yeah? This value is called a bit, yeah? consists of bits just zero or one. Whatever this means. Sometimes it's one is five volts, sometimes it's three to three volts, sometimes it's even something else. Yeah? Zero usually is zero volt and so on. It consists of bits and the number of bits represent the value. Yeah? So it's digits. There are digits. This is why it's called digital. Yeah? It's just numbers. Yeah? And usually we are grouping a group of 8 bits together eight bits should be eight hopefully yeah here's the bit zero one two three four five six seven yes it's eight and this thing here we call usually byte So a byte is a group of 8 bits. It's just the way it is. And if I do every possible combination in this byte with zeros and ones, I realize that there are 256 possible combinations and these are from zero, everything zero, up to 255 is the largest number I can display with one byte. Yeah. If I have to transfer one byte, I can transfer values between two, 0 and 255. If I want to have more information, yeah, I need to transfer more than one byte. Yeah. So, this is a digital signal. Yeah. These are the parameters. Next time we're going to talk about, just said how to transfer, we're going to, try to, to talk about how we can transfer, how we do coupling. Uh, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.